guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you noticing? Okay, I'm not gonna jinx it. I am not gonna jinx it. But what I was about to say is, are you noticing that I'm a lot more um, regular on YouTube? See, I'm not gonna jinx it. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because I post way more regularly on Instagram. And also, you can see on my bridal work. I had a shoot today which required a very natural look. So I didn't do much, but I have a full face of makeup except the eyes. So let's do an eye tutorial or something. NYX Love You So Mochi uh, eyeshadow palette in the shade Sleek and Chic. I love this eyeshadow palette. These are all shimmer. I use this on my brows, as you can tell. These are really nice. Careless Vanity was really happy that we used their uh, lashes and stuff, and then they dropped these new beauty blenders. Mind you, this wasn't sponsored. I spent my own money and bought the products. But they had a nice offer which was buy the black, pink and the two small lavender sponges for $1399. I was skeptical when I bought it. I'm like, oh, is this going to be another beauty blender that I kind of like but kind of don't like. But these are legit exactly like the beauty blenders itself. Like so soft. And I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. Basically. I'll be testing these a lot more before I do a full-fledged review. Take my color essence powder and bake my under eye because we're gonna do eyeshadow and stuff. So I thought I'll just bake my. I have to clean all my brushes. I'm just gonna blush. <laughs> blush. What am I saying? I'm quickly gonna dust off the excess. And before moving on to our eyeshadow, we are going to apply a little bit of a concealer. 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 My Fenty Beauty Concealer in Caramel. And I'm going to apply that all over my lids. I'm not going to go till my eyebrow, just on my lids. Wow. This is a look by itself. Comment down below your favorite animal. It can be anything. It can be a reptile, it can be a bird or whatever. Basically your favorite animal or a bird my favorite ever is a snake that's how you see me wear snake print I love snakes so much I'm so weird I know it we're gonna create a nice smoky ombre uh, sort of an eye nice. my crease and join that to this line like so black right here this is all you need so here comes the fun part we're gonna be putting this shade right here it doesn't have a name I wish they had names but I'm gonna put this shimmery black shade exactly on top of what we just did So once you're done and happy with the step, never go back, never make that mistake. Slightly a bigger brush for this and we're gonna first add this color as a transition. We're gonna go from dark to light and try and add as many colors as possible to this colorful eye look that we're creating. Again going back with the black and making sure Everything is blended. Next look is gonna be wow. Okay, <laughs> next look. Oh my god, I'm on fire! What did I eat in the morning? Okay, the next color I'm gonna go with is this one, and then maybe I'll add this one. Okay, so we're just gonna pick this shade right here. These colors are intense, they're super pigmented. I'm gonna add this color because I think this will suit this yeah Oof. so pretty stop the powder uh, I took about 185 years to add these pair of lashes these are the pack 55 lashes I love pack lashes after the lashes I feel like we need something on the lower lash line as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some kajal Angle brush. I'm also gonna go in and add 
has some kala, kala, shade right here, and add it to our lower lash line. And for our inner corners, I'm gonna go with this color right here. Okay, guys. So for the lips, let's go into something. Nude, I guess, because I think nude will look nice. This is a MAC Twig, it's a satin lipstick, and one is a matte lipstick called Sin. Sin is my favorite color. I always use Sin for all my traditional makeup looks with saris. I always wear that. It's, it's one of the best colors. Twig on the other side is a nice satin nude lip that suits all skin tones. Dabbing the lip color rather than applying. Because it stays longer and almost looks like it's your lip color. 